Alright you guys, welcome back to Mega Man 22 video. We got part 3 of the playoff promo, because this is the last part, so I'm going to go over the players, because Zach's pull some packs. Let's get started. Apologies for my voice, I'm sick, I'm trying to push through this, but first we got the players, we got the standouts, these are the players from the teams that lost. So, the teams are lost, but these players had a good game. We got Rashawn Gary, we got Gabriel Davis, who went off. He, I think he'll have a great card, like a better overall, if that ever comes out. We got Monty Hooker, and we got Leonard Formick. Now, we got the champions. We got Evan McPherson. Um, this kicker gets a bunch of good abilities for low ability points. So, I mean, it's a kicker, but it's a good card. We got McCole Hardman. He's fast. He's got good deep. So, I'll put him on streak, and he'll be good. We got Jordan Willis. I got no clue who this is. If you guys know, let me know. I got no clue. And then we got Nick Scott, another Rams cornerback. So we got Nick Scott, David Long, uh, Jalen Ramsey. The Rams uh, secondary is stacked. So those are the players for part three. I don't know if you guys noticed, but earlier in the week, they dropped objectives to get more tokens, and they're pretty easy. I can't go through all of them, because I completed them, but they're like, pass for a certain number of yards, I can win 20 games, get five picks, so if you haven't completed the objective list, do it, and get all your tokens, because, uh, you, again, you can put predictor tokens on a team, your kick is gonna win. If they win, you get 10k coins. If they lose, you get a thousand. I put all my tokens on the rims, so do your objectives if you haven't already. And remember to do the sets. So do the objectives and put the tokens into the sets. The new solos are up. There are four solos. There are full games, but it's only four solos. I'm not mad at it. If you do the solos, you get coins, and you get a Jordan Whitehead, 93 overall. He's a free safety, and he gets any team chemistry, AFC and NFC. So I'm, I'm going to pick this card up, and he's going to be my backup free safety, and I'm going to sell the uh, Campus Hero I have. The NAT, I think I have a 94 Campus Hero. Um, so do your solos, get your coins, and get your free lighthead. I'm going to pull a couple of clutch packs. I'm not going to go in on all 15, but they'll, call, they'll pull a couple. There's three LTEs and packs still. There's the Thursday LTEs. And then we have, um, we have the, we have the playoffs to find Diggs, who, funny thing, yesterday, EA, in uh, the graphic on the main screen, it said to find Diggs was in packs, but he wasn't supposed to be in, back, in packs till today. So I don't know if they're going to give people make rights. They're going to give uh, an end catch to find dicks because people might have been uh, pulling packs or playoff rerolls for the dicks and he doesn't even packs. We got an 88, Jack Conklin. We're getting 88s. These packs aren't that bad. I think 88s are half of the clutch packs. So I don't know what they're going to do there. But we got Stefan Diggs. He looks like a pretty good card. They could have gave him like two more speed. 86. You guys guarantee an 86 plus? I didn't even look at the 
我自己可以抽烟。Then he chewed. Oh yeah, so guarantees an eighty six plus. All right, so even though you're making back at least ten k on these packs, so yeah, he ain't messed up the guy. Diggs was on the graphic. I don't know what they're gonna do. Got eighty. Then team of the week. We got eighty six of Mike Evans. That was a decent pack. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the MCS is tonight. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you lock, lock it, get your, your free tokens. Oh, that was like 93 Kelsey. Oh, shit. Okay. So, you lock the MCS, get your tokens, and get your free uh, Darwin James, he's a 96 overall, uh, safety, strong safety, he looks phenomenal, he has 96 speed, he has great stats, Terry McLaurin. I have three tokens already, so all I have to do is wait for the set to go live, and then I can do it. And then after 93, DeAndre Hopkins, okay? These packs are kind of, kind of fire for me. And then, I believe RG said that once the winner of the Madden tournament makes his 97, you can put all four 85 Russ that might go for, go for something. You can put all four MCS cards into the set, and you can get them back. NAT, I believe he said, or NCAT, whatever. So I'm happy they did that. I don't think they did that last year. I think um, you just put them in the set, and they didn't, they didn't give them all back to you. But I'm happy they did that. And the Dervin James, like I said, looks really good. I don't know if I'll keep him on my team, because I already have the Cam and the, the Troy P, who's really good on my team. But maybe I'll put Dervin as a quarterback. We'll see. 82, 88, all right. I didn't plan on pulling all 15 packs, but these packs are kind of good. We got two 93s, so and we're getting 88s. If we could get one more good pull, gotta be clutch. Got 89, Joey Galladay, okay. My voice is just shot. I'm sick. I, I'm surprised. I, uh, I sound better than I did this morning, but I still sound really bad. We got two more packs. 87. Got Keyshawn Johnson. We got one more pack. Can we pull the LTD? Come on, let me pull it out to the EA. Give me something for doing this video sick. Come on, gold. 86 ball. Okay. 89. 80. And go. So, there's a decent pack opening. I think I lost a couple of, maybe 50k. Not bad, but... Let's go check stats. All right, so first, let's start with the LTEs from yesterday. We got Mike Giusecki. He's a tight end. Oh, let's see what you're looking like. You're 6'6". Okay, so same height as the Darren Miller. You got 92 speed, 82 strike, 87 catch. Oh, you look pretty good. I mean, the Darren Miller, I think, had better speed and better run block, but... 
The Kiseki looks really good. For Dolphins team, team teams, that looks really good. And then, the other thing was a CP. What did I see? Amani, I'm not gonna pronounce that name, but he's the other LTD. You are 62, 95 speed, 97, uh, 97 zone, 94. Alright, so not that bad. He's got good zone, good man, decent press, and good speed. So it's a pretty good LTD. And now for the playoff cards, let's check out the LTD digs. He's gone for a million. Cause the price is probably going to drop. Let's see, he's six foot, got 94 speed. Yeah, his speed, they could have gave him a couple more speed. 98 spec catch, uh, 95, 96, 97. He's got great route running. He's got decent catching stats. And like I said, only 94 speed. So it's a good card, but he could have been faster. He's going to be better on Vikings team teams, go Fully powered up. The chemistries. Um, next, we got Nick Scott going for about 480. Let's see what you're looking like. You are 511, another short cornerback, 94 speed, 95 man, 92 zone. This is not the best card. I do not like this card, but he'll probably be good on a Rams. Maybe you could put him in the slot, but I do not like this card. Who is the, the last champion? Was it the kicker? I feel like it was somebody else. We got Nicole Hardman. Let's see. Let's check, check out Hardman. Like I said, he got, I think, He's fast. He's got 96 speed, I think. Yeah, 95 speed, 510, and 96 deep route running. So he's not as good as the digs. The digs is better, but he, he's fast. Put him on a deep route. Uh, let's just uh, let's check out the kicker, McPherson. Like I said, he uh he gets a couple of abilities. He's got 80 speed, he got 96 kick power, 93 accuracy. Oops, uh, he's up in the darkness. Not bad. I would like uh the accuracy to be 93, I mean 96, but it is what it is. He gets good abilities. But that is part three of the playoff promo. Let me know what you guys think. If you're pulling packs, let me know what you guys got. I think part three is a, kind of a letdown. Um, I like the free 93, but these champions, I don't like these player suggestion, uh, suggestions. These player picks, they could have done better. And Mike Hilton, there's Mike Hilton. He had a great game for the Bengals. I think he had he had a pick, a game winning pick, and he had a slot. He had a good game. And Mike Hilton was an upgrade I was looking forward to in the playoffs because he was a stealer. So I don't like these player picks and I think part three was a letdown. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a like if you like my video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload. Again, apologies for my voice. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.